Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Yesudian, a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. Today we will look at a novel way of treating acne using metformin, a medication usually given for diabetes. It's based on a randomized open-label study that was published in 2019. Acne is a common skin condition that occurs most frequently in teenagers, although it can persist into adulthood. The treatments for moderate to severe acne include oral antibiotics and oral isotretinoin. However, they have potential side effects and sometimes lose their effectiveness with time, particularly if they are given for prolonged periods. It is therefore useful to consider other medications as additional therapy. Lifestyle modulation may also be beneficial. I have done videos looking at how diet and other healthy alterations in lifestyle can help acne management, which may have some useful information. Studies have confirmed that metformin is effective in acne, particularly in women with polycystic ovarian syndrome. It could also be helpful in those with concurrent diabetes or impaired glucose tolerance. However, it has not been used in acne with normal weight without diabetes or polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let's look at the mechanism by which metformin could help acne. In those who are acne prone, a receptor called mTORC1 seems to be overstimulated in the skin and in the sebaceous glands. This results in an inflammatory cascade that causes the spots. In fact, food with high sugar levels and excessive dairy proteins also trigger acne through the same mechanism and the same receptor. Most anti-acne drugs, including benzoyl peroxide cream, oral doxycycline and oral isotretinoin, also reduce this mTORC1 stimulation and thereby help reduce skin inflammation. Metformin also suppresses mTORC1 activity and therefore it could help improve acne. In fact, it can help other conditions that have similar etiology including hirsutism or excessive hair, hydradenitis and acanthosis nigricans where we have dark skin in the groin and under the armpits. Let's look at the study which had 84 patients. It lasted for 12 weeks and half the subjects with moderate to severe acne were given oral tetracycline 250 mg twice a day with topical benzoyl peroxide whilst the other half were given metformin 850 mg in addition to tetracycline and topical benzoyl peroxide. After 12 weeks, the metformin group had greater reduction of non-inflammatory and inflammatory lesions of acne. The overall success rate was 67% compared to 43% without metformin. None of the patients who received metformin developed low glucose levels. However, about 13 of them, about 32%, had gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea, but this reduced after two weeks of treatment. This is the first study to evaluate the effectiveness of metformin as an adjunct for acne in healthy population without underlying diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and obesity. We know that metformin can reduce fasting insulin levels and insulin resistance and this takes about 12 weeks. That may be the reason it took about 3 months for patients to notice an improvement in their acne. In fact, the effects of metformin become more and more apparent after this period and it can therefore become increasingly effective with time. The benefits can be sustained for a period of up to 2 years. Here is an example of metformin therapy which resulted in significant reduction in acne severity. This is from another study which looked at metformin use in patients who had acne associated with polycystic ovarian syndrome. What is the dose of metformin that is required? In the study that we just reviewed, the lowest starting dose of metformin 850mg a day was selected. Significant improvement in acne was seen in a previous publication in 2016 when a dose of 500 mg twice daily was used. Note that the dosage of metformin used for polycystic ovarian syndrome can range from 850 mg to 2000 mg a day. There were limitations in this study. It had a single assessor and subjects were not blinded. The sample size was also small and therefore bigger randomized double blind control trials may be required in the future. In conclusion, metformin may be a novel therapeutic option for acne. In fact, patients noted a reduction of sugar levels and body weight after treatment. Metformin is inexpensive, safe and well tolerated. It could therefore be a useful adjunct therapy for the treatment of moderate to severe acne in both males and female subjects irrespective of their weight. 
I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.